All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is about that time. You guys already know it's tier list update time. All right, Isla has been out for quite some time. Um, obviously, I've got it at A4. I'm trying all my best not to go to A5 purely because Thomas is next, of course. Um, but I do want to update the tier list just a tad bit uh, purely because with this update, a lot has happened. A lot have changed, especially from when we last. Um, wait, who did I last look at? Who were the last characters? Oh, it was Gina. Yeah, oh yeah, S plus. Yeah, we'll we'll leave Gina there, of course. So Isla is in the big question on where do we put her now? Changes have to be made. So what I mean by that is we're putting Park down, we're putting you down. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I'm using more of Anna than I am with Ji Woo, so I'm actually gonna knock down Ji Woo by one. I'm I'm putting Jill up top now because he's a fantastic character. Gina and Han Sammy can stay at S+. Plus. Um, I was going to put Yunho down below, but I, had a, I don't think he's a, a, a rank worthy, to be honest. The only issue I've got with uh, Yunho right now is that um, Go is just kind of ruining him. And plus, he's very slow at his uh, activation skills, of course, which is very annoying. Uh, Beast, ooh, to be fair, this is, this is a tough one. Because technically speaking, he's kind of up here. You could fight your case to actually put him up here now in terms of uh, being the dark DPS, kind of like the head of the table. Um, but he is obviously on par now with Charlotte, so I'm going to actually put him there, of course. Uh, and what I'm going to do in this case is I'm actually going to drop Troy down to S and I'm putting Lim up to S+. Plus. Again, you could again fight your case to put him up to SS, but I'm just going to leave him up to S+, plus for right now. Um, the recent buffs that these two characters have gotten have actually genuinely put them on the goddamn map of how crazy good they are as I've mentioned before um, obviously I don't have A5 on limb so that's kind of a ball ache because I would love to uh, get my boy cooking but it is what it is um, again Choi I, I mean to be fair it's gone to the point where I'm surprised the developers haven't actually acknowledged it or actually even haven't updated it the most consistent thing that everyone consistently says to the developers let Choi crit I'm pretty sure it's a hashtag at, you know let Choi crit you can fight your case to put Charlotte and uh, Beast up to SS plus I mean I might actually put Beast up to SS plus at because I'm you know fan of this character I'm happy that he's got the glow up that he has you know what I might actually leave my SS plus I might and then I might have to drop the video because uh, I have worked on him a little bit I I've invested into this man a tad bit uh, so we might have to go into that you know what I'm actually gonna leave I'm, 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 I want to put a dark DPS in, in, in the runnings because how, how, how broken he is and I think that is where I'm gonna class him at yeah okay we're gonna I'm, I'm gonna have to because the only thing that's left for me to do right now is to invest a little bit more into his weapon the character himself and the kit I've got cooking <laughs> I am cooking um, I just need to work on his uh, weaponry and uh, yeah he is going to be slamming, so I might actually leave that as is, just because of how much of a favourite character he is of me, uh, for me personally. And hey, me, I'm sorry, girls, lollies, you had your time. It's it's time for the big boys to play around. So I'm actually going to leave that there, and I'll, I'll do a video on that. Okay, Isla, where do we want to class her at? So she is a dark support healer type class now with her introduction to the game it was very very unique in terms of the amount of i think she's the only character right now where she does an obscene amount of buffing a ridiculous amount of buffing um in my eyes best healer i'm just gonna put that out there <laughs> uh she plays around with providing the ultimate i mean it's more in a strategic way because of course it only affects the character in the second column but still it counts by uh, increasing the power gauge by 60%, reducing the ultimate skill cooldown so that it's at the ready more quicker. So when it comes to uh, the consistency of having the ultimate at the ready, um, Harper, re sorry, not Harper, sorry, uh, this Isla is taking the cake. So Min, you had your moment, you had your time. I guess you're still somewhat effective because you don't specifically focus on the slot rather than the high attacking character. But Isla is doing that little bit more. Um, obviously, uh, she's providing that speed increase, which is fantastic. Um, you know, I mean, there's so much more I can say about those goddamn tarot cards, of course. I absolutely love on what they have done with those tarot cards, of course. 
with, with, with how the well, with the amount of buffing that she can apply of course and then furthermore catering it into her dupes to where hey rather than having one activate at random <laughs> why not just have them all and let's make it so that it activates on the support skill all at once let's have it so that it activates on the core skill all at once the amount of that you can just pile on through the core skill leading that into the ultimate is just picture perfect i mean obviously overall she's a dark healer dark supporter so just in general for the support of the dark elements it's just like chef's kiss you know and again i get it harper charlotte you know they're the two girls in question but oh beast he has got his friend he has got his lover should i say so that's fantastic unfortunately i don't have the a5 but god if i did oh i would have been loving it because of the death shepherd it increases damage of 0.2 percent for every one percent reduction to the target's hp stacking up to 16 percent obviously so it's, it's on for 16 seconds but hey you can make it count you, you can quite easily get this going of course um increasing the team's damage increase that equal to 12 percent of vital rates damage increase that if there are dark elements hunters on the team it increases their ultimate skill damage by 32 <sighs> percent i i low-key want a5 just because i, I just want to put more towards my beast and i don't and i don't get me wrong like low-key with my charlotte I'm, I'm already cooking but the way they've that they've introduced beast and how like his whole kit is just pure dominance like just dominating the enemy when it comes to door dropping the ult when it comes to applying his second skill so that way the crits are being applied the attack speed is on the bleeds are being done he's doing more damage by losing his hp but he's got the shield to protect him i'm th this is starting to become a beast video but like i'm gonna have to kind of cut back on it because i need to i i have to do his own separate video because the comeback is so freaking real the comeback is truly real um but yeah, A5 is just fantastic in terms of you know the 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 the, da the damage side of things. I, again, with the survivability, it's also very very good in terms of the amount of HP that you're gaining back along with shield play. Um, so really kind of cracked in terms of being the best healing. Like the, when it comes to providing the, the the survivability, you're getting everything that you need, right? Like the whole nine yards. And then when it comes to the damage output, I mean specifically certain healers and whatnot. Uh, mainly work with uh, their set teams and obviously Isla does kind of maximize the dark element but with the tarot card you can effectively apply her onto any other character and that is something what I truly do love about her that and um, she's fantastic for a team fight um, having her as a support uh, she's probably my go-to when it comes to team fighting whenever I need that healer I always bring her always bring her just such an amazing character but I, and i will say the big big reason why i've actually just kind of really gone head over heels for her is the fact that obviously when i did my pulls i decided to aim for a3 and that is when it things were just popping off because obviously the consistency of having the strength the magician and the wheel of fortune just being there actively being popping off so consistently um you know i'm getting that crit damage i'm getting that damage increase damage i've got the survivability popping off she's just providing so much in one go so consistently it's ridiculous outperforming in my eyes compared to any other support healers that i've been using um so if only she could debuff that would be insane like imagine if you made it so that the enemy takes like an extra five percent more damage that to me would have been the icing on the cake if anything so with all that being said i mean at the end of the day i, I mean she's clearly ss worthy but the thing is, is that you can actually fight your case to actually put her right up top with how crazy of a healer that she is. Uh, sorry, with, 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 with how great of a support that she is in terms of everything that she does. In term, when it comes to buffing, when it comes to the ultimate play. Um, obviously, you've got to keep in mind that she herself can also get her ultimate every rotation. So, like, in terms of, like, not just the specific buffs being available in every single rotation every single rotation let me just say that again <laughs> the ultimate buffs are also available on every single rotation that, that that see that's the insane thing about this character is the fact that nothing is off the table all of this is accessible every single rotation every single rotation if you're taking it with our hunters again if you're taking it with sun jun Wu or even even in the team fight even in the team fight that's also available every single rotation but again it, it does require investments at the very least, the way I'm kind of talking about her, it's more on the line of being a three. I just want to clarify that more on the line. I mean, if, if I did have her like base form or maybe at a one, I would still class her as SS, maybe lower on the end of the SS. But um, the fact that I've got her at a four, even if I did get to a five, I, I could easily fight my case to say that I, I truly do believe that she is SS plus worthy. 
um, or at the very least SS plus. Oh, sorry, SS uh, literally high tier. Um, but these two linked up together. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna. Oh, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna start cooking. If only I can get to A5, so that way Beast can get the uh, the the, the, rem the remaining additional buffs. That is just gonna be overkill. I just love the fact that with where Dark Elements have actually come to, ever since that they've buffed up Beast to then pro uh, provide us with a insane healer support type character with the amount of buffs that she provides. Um, but I think that is where I'm going to leave things right now. Um, but again, if you want to put Beast and Isla down to high tier SS, you, you can. You can. But with high investments, they're quite comfortably sitting at SS+.